Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hobson back in the building with SPS, that is Sports Ecology Solutions. I'm here at one of my favorite places to be at, the Mighty Wing Shop over on 20131 Greenfield, Detroit, Michigan, owned by Mr. Dennis Reed. Uh, yes, yes. You know, he's a mogul out here, Dennis, that is. He's talking about media, we're talking about movies, we're talking about restaurants and all that good stuff. And it was a pretty darn good athlete when we were back at Henry Ford High School. But now I'm here with Rio, a customer that came in today. Uh, he had to come back. He talked about he had made an order on DoorDash and it blew his mind. He had to come here and see for himself. So, Rio, tell me what well, we got you back up here at the Mighty Wing Shop. Man, the food. The to be exact, the fruity, uh, the fruity pebble waffles, the chicken and waffles. Oh my God! That did it, huh? You gotta come try it. You gotta come try it. At least one time. That up there right now. Matter of fact, that's what you ordered. I saw those two big plates coming over there. Oh yeah, I needed it. Yeah, <laughs> we were talking earlier about the ambiance. You talked about this feeling that you had when you came in. What was that feeling like when you came into the building? Man, it's a nice homey feeling. You know, uh, you come into a nice, comfortable place, a nice, comfortable environment. Um, you instantly recognize the the black excellence mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying they got mm -hmm. have pictures of Kwame mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and uh, as soon as you walk in the yep. spirit of Detroit uh, the Joe Lewis fist just the whole ambiance yep. and we sitting right up under uh, his honor Coleman A. Young right oh, yeah. now yep so we got to cover all the way around you know that's great when you can talk about how good the food is what your experience was like but let's talk about you a little bit too that you're an artist and you kind of talked to me offline a little bit about what your experience has been you know similar like to what Dennis has gone through from taking something and growing it to something but talk about what your walk has been particularly during this pandemic oh yeah so I'm uh, a fairly new artist um, I'm closing in on my first year of doing music and um, I just try to be well rounded I try to um, make music that really reflects what the things that I've been through you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying my experiences because some because that's what people relate to you know yeah so um in my one of my most recent songs um it's called everybody versus COVID-19 mm, wow um, nobody said that yeah everybody yeah, versus yeah, yeah, COVID-19 yeah. I got a, a song called everybody versus COVID-19 it's on YouTube right now okay um I did it in honor of my uncle um my uncle James uh -huh. he passed away in oh, man. uh April from the COVID oh man I'm sorry to hear that brother yeah, that yeah. was right when it hit you know March April that was right when it hit oh yeah man and uh I said my uncle James this time last year we were on our <laughs> we were on the road together man on the way down to Arkansas right, um, right. with the family you know right. and it's just crazy how life can change in a year you know what I'm saying you gotta wake up and you gotta take advantage of every every moment you gotta seize every second because none of us know you know what I'm saying when yeah. our time is gonna be how it's gonna come right and it's funny that you say that because you've been taking advantage of that you shared earlier that um, you set a goal for yourself a daily goal with your Riding, talk about oh, that. Oh yeah, so when I um, like I really took serious music serious to start the year, January first. Mm -hmm. So um, my goal was to just write it one song a week, mm -hmm. just one song mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. And um, you know that pace picked up. Some weeks I would do two, three, mm -hmm. four songs. Mm -hmm. And by the time that uh, March came, we went into shutdown. I probably had close to 10 songs recorded really you know what I'm really? saying really oh, he was ready yeah, to go yeah ready to go so um I kept working you know what I'm saying um by the time the summer came I was ready to shoot my first video uh -huh. you know what I'm saying um from there I, I think I have about six or seven videos on YouTube what? now you're not playing I'm working on um I have a project releasing um with two of my homeboys, HP Trice and Twin DZ. Okay. Uh, okay. It'll be out any, once it just clears through uh, Apple Music, Spotify, okay. and everything. Oh, man, you're not playing with it. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. what, what, what um, entertainment name do you go by so the people I, know? So I go by Rio the Great. Rio the Great. And that's R I O T H A G R number eight. They got it right there. And where can they find your YouTube links at? What's your YouTube channel? Uh, my YouTube is the same thing Rio the Great. Rio the Great, it's okay. the same way. Okay. Instagram, okay. Uh, Facebook. Real to great. Real to great. Um, We're going to make sure we word. get that out there. That's going to be on your screen right now. You know, you're rocking the Pistons. You got love for that. You talked about a oh, song yeah. you did honoring one Detroit Pistons. So, I just dropped a uh, video. It's called Christian Wood, man. I've been trying to get Christian Wood's attention. I've been tagging Christian Wood. Chris, how about your boy, Christian? every on, day, man. man. Don't act brand new out here. You better connect with that Detroit love, baby. But, um... 
I'm a big time just Detroit fan, um, Pistons fan. This time last year, I was actually working at Little Caesars Arena. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I'm catching all the Piston games, yeah, wins, yeah, losses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And Christian Wood, man, he 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 was our to me. He he was my favorite player for us this past season. Why so? He was our he uh man. He came out with a chip on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nothing was was given to him, and every time he was given an opportunity, he gave a hundred and ten percent in mm-hmm. my eyes. You mm-hmm. know. Um, he, he outplayed a lot of people. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You see how the end of the season ended with us with the trades and everything. Yeah. And that yeah. had a lot to do with how well he performed. You right. know, he really changed the... Uh the 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 landscape of the Pistons by just you know what I'm saying coming out working hard doing his thing so just being there man uh, to start the season he, I don't think he was on a guaranteed contract at all uh-huh. you know uh-huh. and now he's looking at upwards to, I want to say 15 to 20 million a year go from non guaranteed to 15 in just a year. Well, I mean, you talked about that earlier. You know, what what can happen in our lives in a year? You know, we've seen that with COVID. And then you talk about what you've been doing. I'm really inspired by you taking the chance on yourself, but also having the diligence to go one, you know, song. You said one song a day. I went from one song a day, and then I just have to continue to pick up the pace. I, it's to the point now where, you know, I might not be able to write a song today, but let's work on the video. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Let's go back and touch up on the song. It's well, something to work on every do. single day. Yeah, yeah, well, it yeah. makes me think about two things. First of all, Dennis Reed and I want to thank again the Mighty Wingshot for sponsoring the SPS team of the week and what they're doing but also Dennis talked about writing Dennis advised me on my writing shout out to you Dennis when I wrote my book after Dennis I wrote several books I'm on my second now but he said hey man just sit down and write you know don't worry about structure or anything like that but then also too you sound like Pac a little bit because Pac was like look man don't get caught up and you know trying to make the song stand there and engineer he said let the dudes who love the engineer do that mm-hmm. just lay the track you lay the hook and whatever so you're saying you're able to just to keep that momentum going oh, yeah. and be productive. So what helps you do that, man, as with the time that we have? Is it, is it the people around you? Is it the people that inspire you? Is it the people in your life now? People who've been in your life? You talked about your uncle. What, what inspires you to be like that? Man, just a combination of it all. Uh, combination of it all has gotten me to this point right here. You know, um, family, friends, life experiences, mm-hmm. you know. It, uh it's put me right here, and I'm going to take advantage of it. Man, for well, not only am I grateful that you're coming in and supporting a great business like Dennis Reed and the Mighty Wing Shop over here at 20131 Greenfield. Oh, yeah. But um, just to be able to share and be inspired by you as an artist, man, I don't know how somebody can listen to what you're talking about and not be inspired. I'm inspired, and I'm sure that our uh, viewers will. So, again, uh, appreciate they can check that, you man. out. Oh, no, that's real <laughs> talk, man. We keep it real all the way over here, man. Um, so, with that, we'll put the, uh, your tag information up there. We'll put all your social media up on the screen right now as we speak and uh, any last yeah, words okay. before you take off um <clears throat> man shout out to my city of highland park right now mm-hmm. we're on the rise i have a goal to change the narrative in highland park mm-hmm. you know um i reach out to all the I, I feel like with the older generation it wasn't a lot of reaching out you know sure. it wasn't a sure. lot of game giving right and i try to give as much game to the younger generation as i can you know give it back. i try to if i learn something today I'm calling them and like, hey, man, you that's know what I'm awesome. saying? We can move like that's this, awesome. and that's going to help you moving forward. It yeah. took me till I got to this point. You don't have to wait till you get to this point. You can learn from my experiences. We can move yeah. move forward from there. So, And then people got to know that when you do that, not that you're doing it for these reasons, but you're going to be blessed too, man. You're going to open up opportunities. You're going to create a certain kind of um, energy in the universe that's going to bless you, man. So I want to wish yeah. you the best you know, with your work. I know it's going to be great. I know a year from now we're going to look back and see you accomplish your goals and moving forward. All right, but just don't act brand new. Oh, when not at all, man. Like, whatever, you had a great baby. Like, like man, I don't know what you're talking about. Yo, that smell like chicken from the from it's, from it's gonna be the same yeah. love, man. I'm gonna pop up my microphone. We gonna get to it. Man. Yeah, we we'll get down talk to about it. What, what you got going on? That's you know it. What I'm That's it. That's and it. How we didn't grew together. That's it. We'll support this brother and what he got going on. Real the great. Go follow him on his Instagram. Follow him on his YouTube. You know, I'm gonna make sure I do the same. This is Lindsey Hollis with SPS. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.